This is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. The faces of senators who denied counties a chance to get 37 billion shillings in the next financial year have been revealed. The lawmakers on Thursday voted to fix the county's allocation at 385 billion shillings, defeating concerted attempts to raise it to 407 billion shillings. The exercise saw the devolved units lose 37 billion shillings in the 2023-2024 financial year from the current 370 billion shillings. President William Ruto's allies dominate the list of senators who rejected the proposed amendments to the Division of Revenue Bill 2023 during the vote. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. Opposition lawmakers have hit back at the Catholic bishops after the clergy told the Azimio leadership to accept the apex court ruling on the presidential contest and shunned the planned street demonstrations. The Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops in a statement on Thursday termed the Azimio street protests destructive and do not portend well for the peace and prosperity of our nation. They also cautioned hardliners against derailing the peace talks that are yet to take off. The boyfriend of the woman whose body was found stashed in a suitcase and dumped outside a house in Kamaki's Ruiro has been arrested in connection with the murder. Police said the prime suspect confessed to killing Rispa Vati, 27, from Kitui South Sub-County. Maurice Mongi, 28, led the police to a shop where he bought the sack, in which he wrapped the suitcase that contained Vati's body. Lawmakers have rejected a plan by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration to hire a maximum of 70 court of appeal judges. The Justice and Legal Affairs Committee has instead agreed to a maximum of 45 from the current 30, set in the law under the Judicature Act Cup 8. MPs at the committee argued that the changes would occasion additional expenditure of public funds in an already constrained economic environment. As the war in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo rages claiming lives, millions of young people remain in peril. As they are left at the masses of early marriages, militia enlisting, violent crime and drug abuse among other vices. In markets, IDP comes along the roads, young women with little children tucked in their backs, and others walking alongside them is a permanent sight. If not patched on motorbikes or involved deep in charcoal burning, most young people are engaged in crime, including joining militias that have mounted roadblocks where they extort illegal taxes from the public. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.